Hi, this is Greg with Bavarian Autosport. Today we're going to talk about our Media Blaster kit. We're going to talk about assembly, safety, and some tips on how to use it. Here are the contents of our kit. Out of the box, we've got a pair of handles, two wheels, an axle rod, the blaster hose, a funnel, the blaster tank itself with the water separator already attached, the tank bypass hose, a pressure gauge, the blaster nozzle, valve, and a bag of hardware. Here's the hardware that comes in the hardware bag. We've got four washers for our axle, two cotter pins for the axle, four bolts, four nuts for the legs and handles, a gasket for the cap for the tank, and these five pieces here, you're not going to use. Here we are ready to assemble our media blaster. We've already taken the tank and shooken it upside down to make sure there's no loose foreign matter inside. Sometimes during manufacturing there can be a piece of welding slag left in the tank and you want to get that out so it doesn't plug up your media blaster. Next thing we're going to do is install the O-ring on the cap. The O-ring is a little larger than the inlet. Once you thread the cap on, you just give the O-ring a little squeeze and it will sit right down in the recess around the cap. Next thing we're going to do is install the handles on the tank. There is a left and right specific handle. Make sure that once the handles are on, that the hole in the end will match the hole on the opposite handle so that way the axle rod can slide through. We're going to install the nuts and bolts from the back side through the holes. And we're going to leave them loose until we get the axle rod pushed through. You can just leave them a little loose. Now our handles are on and they're loose. We're going to insert the axle rod through, one side right through the other. And now that you've got the rod in and centered roughly, you're going to install the washers, one on each side, and you're going to install the wheels, one on each side. And then you're going to put a washer on the end of the axle on the outside of each wheel and then you will put the cotter pins through. And you can either use a pair of pliers to bend them or your fingers if you're strong enough. Now that the wheels are on, we're going to go ahead and tighten up these nuts and bolts. It requires an 8mm on one side and a 10 on the other. Now that the media blaster is standing up, we're going to insert the tank bypass tube into the quick release fitting on the bottom. And we're going to also install it into the quick release fitting up here at the valve. If you ever need to replace this or take it apart, you just need to push the blue fitting up and pull the tube down and it comes out. Just stick it in until it's fully seated. Now we're going to install the pressure gauge on the top. You're going to want to put some Teflon tape on the threads and just thread it in until it's snug. Don't turn the gauge face itself to its final tightening. Use the flats at the bottom. So when you get it to snug, then you can take a wrench and tighten it. Now we're going to install the blaster hose onto the bottom of the tank. You're going to push this hose onto the barbed nipple and then you're going to tighten the hose clamp. You want to get this good and snug so that way the blaster hose doesn't blow off once you pressurize the system. Next we're going to install the blaster wand control valve into the end of the black blaster hose.
make sure it's fully inserted, and then tighten the hose clamp. Now if your blaster fitting came with extra parts on the end, you're going to remove them because you don't need them. This piece, you don't need. This fitting, you don't need. What you've got here is the blaster wand. This is what's actually going to blast the walnut shells at your engine. It just threads into the end of this valve. And you can put some Teflon tape on there if you'd like. But just thread it in, get it good and snug. And that's it. The blaster's assembled. Now that your blaster's assembled, you'll want to install your preferred brand or style of quick release fitting for your air supply. Install it here. Make sure it's nice and tight. This valve is going to control the air supply in and out of your blaster. This is your main shutoff. The valve over here controls this tube and basically the air bypass that goes around the tank. If you have this fully closed, the tank is going to be fully pressurized and you're going to be blasting just walnut shells out your blaster hose and blaster wand. So you want to add a little bit of air into that. So while you're using the unit, you'll have to fine tune this valve to get the proper mixture of walnut shells and air that you're looking for. Also on the bottom of the tank there's the same valve. That's going to decide how much walnut media is going to come out of the blaster at a time. So you also want to fine tune that. The blaster will not work if you have all the valves 100% open. The air will just go through this tube and bypass the tank and you will not get any walnut shells. Now let's talk about some accessories and the vacuum adapters that would go with your media blaster. This is the factory BMW N54, N55, N20 vacuum adapter. Nice heavy duty stout piece. Last a lifetime. This right here is our Bavarian Autosport plastic adapter. Now this unit is 3D printed and it's made to last for you know one or two uses. It's not nearly as strong as this unit but it is much more cost effective. Right here we also have an accessory. This is used to bump your starter when you're going from cylinder to cylinder. It's just a push button. You can connect these wires up to your starter. Really makes the job just that much easier instead of messing around with a wire. This is a hood for safety that is shown in the manual with the walnut blaster. This thing is no good. It's nothing you want to use. The second you put it on your head, it's going to fog up. So just get rid of that. Get yourself a good pair of safety glasses and get some hearing protection. Now let's talk about how these vacuum adapters are going to connect to your shop vac hose. Because shop vacs come in a range of sizes, you're going to have to get creative. This unit on the BMW piece can be cut down if your hose happens to fit any of these sizes. On our shop vac that we have here, there was an adapter that we were able to cut down that was really close. You'll put this together, wrap it with some duct tape, and you'll be good to go. On the plastic adapter, it fits inside this. If you put it inside the big hose, you'll throw out more duct tape around it. So find an adapter that's close, slide it inside, wrap it with some duct tape. Now what you've got to be careful with on this plastic adapter is that you don't crack it. When you have this all assembled together in your car and you trip on your shop vac hose, you're going to snap this in half. So just be gentle with it and you'll be good. And there we have it, the Bavarian Autosport Walnut Blaster Kit.